Hello friends. Greece is a country located in Southeast Europe, at the southernmost tip of the Balkan Peninsula, with an area of about 131,957 square kilometers. With an estimated population of 10.4 million. Of which, 40% live in the capital city of Athens. The flag of Greece consists of nine blue and white horizontal stripes, which stand for the nine syllables of the phrase Eleutheria Ithanatos, which means freedom or death. The upper left corner has a cross, symbolizing faith in Christianity the predominant religion in Greece. Greece's terrain consists of 80% mountains, of which the highest mountain is called Olympus, with an altitude of 2, 919 m above sea level. It is the home of the 12 major gods of Greek mythology. Consists of Zeus god of thunder Hera god of marriage Poseidon god of the seas and earthquakes Dionysus god of wine, feasting and pleasure Artemis goddess of the hunt, the moon and virginity Apollo god of music, light, poetry, art, medicine and prophecy Hermes messenger of the gods Athena goddess of wisdom, wisdom and war Ares god of war Aphrodite goddess of love, beauty and lust Hephaestus god of fire, sculpture and metallurgy. Demeter goddess of fertility, agriculture and crops. Okay it's over. This video is not about the gods. But actually, when it comes to Greece, we should also know the names of some gods, because many places are named after the gods. When we look at the territory of Greece, we find it quite surprising because 99.9% .9 of the islands in the Aegean Sea belong to this country. In total, there are more than 2,000, large and small islands, even some islands very close to Turkey still belong to Greece. The reason is because since the 15th century, Greece was under the rule of the Ottoman Empire. After a nine-year struggle, Greece gained its independence. And soon after expelling the enemy, they were interested in capturing the islands in the Aegean Sea. Today, sometimes between Greece and Turkey, there are disputes, but they can sit down to drink water and talk. This is the Halkidiki Peninsula and this is Mount Athos, inhabited by more than 2,000 people, who are mainly monks. They live in isolation and are allowed to govern like a self-governing country. Women are not allowed in this area, as the monks are all men. However, in the past, a girl who was a former beauty queen of Greece disguised herself as a man to sneak in out of curiosity. Mount Athos is one of the 18 World Heritage Sites of Greece recognized by UNESCO. Greece was one of the most brilliant civilizations of antiquity, and left behind many legacies of cultural, scientific and artistic achievements, which continue to this day. The world's first philosophers were all born in Greece, like Thales, Pythagoras, Socrates. They were one of the first to explain the origin of the world, no, must be a myth. Herodotus is often considered the father of history. He was the author of the first great history book about the Greek and Persian wars. Hippocrates was the greatest physician in ancient Greek history, and is often considered the father of Western medicine. Not only did Aristotle claim that the earth was round, but he was also considered the father of zoology. He was the first to classify animals by grouping them according to similar characteristics. These groups were called genus, and he further divided each genus into smaller groups. Modern Western democracy is based on ancient Greek politics. The ancient Greeks created the idea of a constitution. And in Athens, any citizen can speak before the council and vote on decisions by just a show of hands. The world's first Olympic Games were held in Greece. Circa 776 BC, including racing running and boxing. In the mid-2nd century BC, Greece was conquered by the Roman Empire and the Olympics continued. By AD 393, the Roman Emperor Theodosius I, who was a Christian, called for an end to all pagan festivals and that the ancient Olympics ended after nearly 12 centuries. By 1896, European aristocrats suddenly became excited after learning about the ancient Olympics. So together they revived the Olympics in Athens, Greece. Today the Olympic Games are held every four years, with the participation of almost every country in the world. The word Olympic is derived from the word Olympia, which is the name of a place in Greece, where the first ancient Olympics were held. Today many ancient historical sites still exist in Greece, combined with myths, archaeological museums, rich culture and beautiful islands. Tourism in Greece is the most developed in Europe. 
In 2019, they attracted about 31.3 million visitors, three times more than the population, helping bring in about $22 billion in revenue, accounting for 10.5% of GDP. When it comes to money, Greece is currently in debt, often referred to as a debt crisis. The reason is because the government does not manage the finances properly, spending more than receiving. That means having enough money to eat fish, but eating beef every day, it's hard to blame because the things they spend are mainly for the benefit of the people. For example, wages in the public sector automatically increase by percent every year. Workers are entitled to an extra month's salary in December. And many other policies. Due to low labor productivity, competitiveness with other countries is reduced and tax evasion is rampant. The Greek government does not have enough revenue and has to borrow foreign debt to keep the state operating. After the financial crisis of 2007 by 2008, the economy crashed and Greece fell into debt. As of 2018 the country owes about $375.74 billion, these debts are scheduled to be paid off by 2060. Although the debt crisis has passed, the Greek economy is still struggling. They have to tighten their belts in order to one day pay off their debt. In 2019, Greece remains one of the countries with the highest unemployment rate in Europe with 17%. Even so, they have the lowest divorce rate in Europe, and the most adult sex in the world, at least once a week, in 87% of adults. Finally, the Greeks waved with the palm closed, waving with the palm open and fingers extended was considered an insult. So avoid it if you have the chance to go to Greece. Video ends here. Thank you all for watching and liking it. If you find the video useful, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel to support us. Goodbye and see you again.